Okay, so what are we doing today? Uh, we are going to check this furnace for cracks in heat exchanger using a fake camera. So how we use it is pretty much it's wireless, so I don't need both hands to use it. That's really neat. Fits right in your pocket. Then everything you see on the camera, you can see on the phone. And you can also take pictures and record at the same time while you're checking it. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna check for the heat exchanger. Make sure there's no cracks or stress points. Why do you need to check for any cracks in a heat exchanger? Because if you have cracks, then it gives off carbon monoxide into the house, which could ultimately kill you if you get too much into it. So we don't want anything bad to happen to our customers. So we check their heat exchanger when we come do our fall PTUs to make sure that their system is safe to run. We're going to get it in here and just look around, see, take a look at every part of the heat exchanger, make sure there's no cracks or stress points. And so if you find a crack, then what do you do? We have to secure the furnace so it can't run. Pretty much cut it, cut some wire so they can't use the furnace. So we can't be responsible if something happens and they run it and something bad happens because there's a crack in it and we told them so we have to secure it secure it so they can't use it and ultimately we have to either replace the heat exchanger or replace the furnace and so do you show the customer any cracks that you find yes if i find one i'll take a picture just hit this button right here it takes a picture then i can go back and show the customer all the pictures that i found or I could record and do the same thing. Oh, that's really nice. And go back and show the customer what all I have found with the camera. Wow. Another good use for the camera is you can also check the evaporator coil and see if it's dirty or plugged or if you got a problem with the uh, coil itself. Yeah, that's really great. It's nice to get that taken care of before it gets super cold and you have a, a problem with heat uh, in the middle of the night. I don't know if you can see, but I can see the coil right now. Where'd it go? I just lost it. Right there, I can see the inside of the evaporator coil, which looks pretty clean. Don't look like there's any problems with it. Yes, this was the camera, taking a picture of a camera. <laughs> but it looked pretty good to me. I'm not seeing any cracks in this one, though. This one looks pretty good. The coil looks pretty good, so I'm going to say this furnace is good to go. So, do you have any other words of wisdom to pass on? Yes, if somebody says they found a crack in your heat exchanger, make sure they have proof and they can show it to you. So they're not just trying to, another Joe Blow out here trying to get money for something that's not even messed up. So give you some sort of proof. Yep, as long as you, if you have proof, you can't deny it. And if you have, if you can't show proof, how do I know that's actually a crack in there? Right. And you're not just saying that, trying to get money out of me. For a replacement or to, to replace the heat exchanger. Sure. Well, thank you so much for showing that today. You're welcome.